guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are making some resin items from Dollar Tree resin kits that I have. Any resin will work. These are gonna be ornaments that I've made, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. And then I found some coasters at the Dollar Tree today. I had a coaster mold and I've lost it somewhere. I don't know where. So we're gonna make one, maybe two, question mark. First off, I need to fix these. You probably won't be able to see it, but I can see that the resin didn't, the clear didn't come all the way to these two ends. So I'm gonna fix that. And then what these are, uh, it's a keychain kit, right? So you get all the keychain stuff. I'm not gonna use the keychain for these. I'm gonna put them on, um, I'm gonna hang them like ornaments. Like, look at that black cat. Oh, I love that one. I tried it with this Easter one. That sticker didn't work so well. So I have a few left. So I'm just gonna use them up like that. And then I'll use these pieces for a different craft, a different project. Uh, I was just practicing. I also made this one, but I think it's too much glitter and it feels icky on the back but I was practicing so that's what we do right okay so I'm just getting all that out of the way I will keep these clear ones over here but we need to also I have that came in here the gift bags because I'm gifting the Buckeye ones so I have the gift bags and the cards that these are gonna hang on, which is very cool. Okay, so I'm just putting all these, I bet you I know I'm gonna use the tassels on lip gloss. But all of this stuff in here will definitely get utilized, just not for its intended purpose this time around. And that is okay, I've had these for quite a while. Just making sure we're still recording here. Okay, so. First things first, we need to measure out the resin, part A and part B, into a silicone thing. I'm gonna move this. And I need something, I'm using this with the resin, so if it gets gross, it's gross. fine. I'm using a tongue depressor to stir because that's easy to throw away. I have some glitter, because I wanna make a pink sparkly. I have a little bit of pink mica powder that we're gonna drop in that I bought somewhere along the way. And I have some jingle bells and I don't know if these are too big to go in, but we're gonna try the pink ones and see. To go in here, because I don't know, quite know if that's the depth is thick enough, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. I don't know if they're still selling resin at the Dollar Tree. I bought these a while ago, but I will, ooh, it's sticky. I will say, um, if they're not, resin is easily come by, and now they have like UV resin, which I haven't bought yet, but I might. Something spilled in here. And so here's what you need to know. If you don't mix these properly together, it will never cure. Right, and that's why it's probably spilled inside of this box. It never dried. That's okay. I use these from the Dollar Tree guys all the time. All right, so part A, part B, equal measurements. You can't see it, but on the side of here, there are measuring lines. I'm gonna do 20 and 20. 20 and 20 what? I don't know, they're measurements, but we're gonna open this up. I will tell you, I hate getting this stuff on my hands. And so we probably should have rubber gloves on. I'll just say it. Do I have on rubber gloves? No. Do I have rubber gloves? Yes. Am I too lazy to go get them? Also, yes. So there's that. All right. Let's get that open. It's kind of fussy to open if you don't can't tell. But if you don't open it properly, 
you'll never get it to pour. I tried another brand that I got, I think from like Shein or Timu or something, and it, I don't think I mixed it right or something because it did not sit. This Dollar Tree stuff, I've not had any issues with. Ooh, all right, let me get this open before I drive us all nuts. It won't lift up. Um, I, and I don't know why they wouldn't sell the resin still because they're selling the resin stuff. They even have the mica powder that you need to color this in order to, um, if you want, you know, a color to it. I don't want solid pink. I want like a hint of pink. There we go. All right, getting this off my hands. Yeah. All right. So you do need some type of a measuring vessel to pour this into. And I will tell you my lighting in here is not ideal, but I think I can see it. I should take a Sharpie, right? And color on the outside of the measurements. But I haven't played with resin in quite some time, but I saw it and thought, hey, that's fun. All right. And equal parts. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set the timer. Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. And then I'm just gonna sit here and stir it. Literally, five minutes of this. So I will be back. It's been five minutes. I stirred this continuously for five minutes. Do you see there's air bubbles in here? You do wanna to try to minimize that, but I'm gonna use a heat gun after to um, get the bubbles out. And I don't know if I have enough resin made, but I will make that work. So first things first, I'm gonna fix this little ornament here where I didn't get enough resin to the edge, right? So that's too much. This one just needed a little bit. What I love is it's self-leveling. Right, so I just put that on there and then I'll get the heat gun out here in a second and it will level. You do have 30 minutes to work with this resin before it starts setting up. So that's the benefit, 30 minutes, there we go. Um, as far as what stickers I have found work, I found that the vinyl tends to work better than paper or non-vinyl stickers, if that makes sense. Because the ones it's not like vinyl, and this one actually was a rub-on transfer, this cat. That worked out well too, but the paper stickers don't work so well. I'm gonna let this sit here. It's gonna do its self-leveling thing until I grab the heat gun. Now, I want just a little bit of pink in this resin. So with the mica, and you should be wearing a face mask, have a window open. You need to be working smarter here. So I'm just putting a little tiny bit of pink mica in. Closing it up. And stirring it. And it doesn't become opaque. It almost becomes ethereal. I don't know how to explain it, but it's shimmery and shiny and so pretty, right? So that's what it looks like. It's got almost like a pearl essence to it. I could have went a tid lighter, but that's okay. I want pink coaster for Christmas. So I'm stirring, stirring. I'm just making sure the mica powder is all blended in and it is. So we're gonna fill this. And I already got out some of this glitter that I also got at some point at the Dollar Tree. These are big chunky glitter shapes. I got these out already. I'm going to put them in here, but I need to get some uh, resin. Now, if I don't have enough resin, which I can tell you I don't, I can mix up more 
and that is not a problem. For me, more is going to be better than less, right? Because when you have too much, you can reuse it, or I guess less is better than more in my case, because I don't have other projects going on. If you make too much, um, you have to utilize it or waste it, and I don't like wasting. So I'm going to take some of this and sprinkle it randomly. It's just, ooh, I shouldn't have stuck it on the resin. But, you know, we learn, we live, we do all the things. It's stuck. Um, I also wash my resin. I'm not too concerned where it's going because I'm going to be mixing up a little bit more. We're going to try a Jingle Bell and see what happens. I have a pink Jingle Bell. These tiny little, okay, well, these tiny little pink ones. Yeah, they're too big. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Let's get that out of there. They're too big. They're going to, it won't sink. And that is okay. That's how we learn things, right? We test. All right, so I'm going to mix up a little more resin and see what I can do. It's self-leveling, right? So I can just move things around, put them where I want. But my new resin, um, I need to add a little pink mica as well. So give me five more minutes. Okay, we're all mixed up. I mixed up some more of the pink. Oh, Alexa, stop. Timer's done. Now I'm just going to add it right on top. And I made it a little lighter because I thought that would be fun. Now, if you saw how all of the glitter kind of settled in the middle, I just have to keep moving it about for a little bit. This is exciting. So I would say to fill this specific coaster, it will be 60. I think it's 60 mLs on the side of this. Right, 60. And then we just let this do its thing. It won't even start setting up for about a half an hour. You can do different colors. If you just mix them a little bit, they won't settle together. But you see how I got my glitter all mixed in now? Leave that alone. I just let this sit here and harden. And when it sets up, I turn this container and wash it. If I had more, I would add to this. The way I do these is I put the sticker here and then the clear over it, like that. And then on the back, I just mix a color of mica and gray. And then I put a little gold glitter just to make these a little more festive. Um, once I get, I ordered some bows that I'm waiting on, but I need to run the heat gun. And all it's going to do is make everything kind of rise to the surface as far as bubbles and it's going to self-level everything if you accidentally touch something before it's ready take your heat gun to it so i'm just kind of settling this out and making it blend in And even if you let your project sit for a day and it's still got a fingerprint, this will make the fingerprint go away. There we go. All the bubbles that were on the surface have come up. I have glitter on the bottom here, but a lot of it got mixed in as well. I can come back later and stir that again. And this is one that I made that I don't love. So I'm throwing this away. Here's when it's sort of cured, but if you see, I can still mount, make it bend. 
because it needs several more days to get very firm. But I'm not keeping this one because I don't like it. Um, here's one I did make that I do like. Now this is, it's got gold cats in it and like polka dots with the glitter. Um, this one has been sitting out a few days and it's pretty firm. It's not going to bend. Obviously, if I expose it to some heat, it might. The glitter does come to the surface and you can feel it a little bit, but I like this. I'm taking this to my retreat. To make something like this with a sticker, I put the clear down halfway. I put the sticker on it and let it sit up and then I came back and added another layer. And these little gold cats are just little metal pieces that fit in there. So I'll show you when this is all done and how I package it up for Christmas. All right, guys, we're back. And we are ready to rock and roll. So everything has been cured. And I added just some red and white twine to these ornaments. I have a few more. And then I just took some gingham ribbon and made some bows so i've decided that and they can go on either one i made red and black and i made black and white and then i sewed this 20 ooh, 2024 charm i don't know if you can see it in the center just so we know what year it is i mean i know what year it is but what year i made them and i'm just hot gluing them onto the ornament, right? Oops. I had a thread in there. All right, so we're just stick, gluing it right there into the center. I ordered some bows, but they didn't, oh, they didn't come in in time. So for me to finish this video. So I'm using my own handmade, and then when the video when the other ones get here, I'll use them for the other ornaments. I mean, I can make my own too, but I already paid for them and ordered them. And then I'm just sticking these on here and I'm making sure they touch the cording. So they stay on. Isn't that adorable? We'll let that dry. I'm going to undo the glue gun and I'm going to show you. You don't have to put, um, oops just the year in there you can put bells charms anything you want oh i know what that is i got too much stuff up here so let's get this we're making some room here kids now the other thing i made was a fun coaster and you can see the glitter in there and you get a really good shine i love it for my pink christmas kitchen um, and this was with the Dollar Tree form. They have two different coasters. I like this size better. This one just seems lacking. It also fits in the center of that one if you want to do a double layer situation. So I could just throw that in the middle and now I have a nice heavy coaster. But these are heat and cold. You know, they're not going to go. They're not going to... Um, melt or anything now if you put something terribly hot on there they could so i would just be gentle now the other thing we're going to do is package this up this kit that i got with these um templates came with all this so i'm going to use it why not and then i will show you a couple other things i've made for my team but because i'm doing like a variety this year so I want it to land about here. Yes, yes. So what we're gonna do, this comes pre-punched. Just gonna pull it forward a little bit. Oh, you can't even see me. It came, it came, it came pre-punched. I think this is for like, if you're a vendor or something. I'm not, but that's okay. So a little more. Um, I think what I need, I want to put a little piece of tape on the back. So hang tight. All right, I'm back with tape, also coffee. 
Also, if you want to know the dirty details of my life, I'm sitting here in my pajamas just out of the shower. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to stick a piece of tape because I want it to hang specifically like right like that. And again, I'm just pulling that forward a little bit. I'm basically sticking this cord through the back, but there's two little holes here. There we go. So if you are a vendor, these work out well. I got them on Amazon. I know they still sell them. So that looks good right there. Turn it over. I just think presentation on gifting is half the gift. Okay, maybe not completely half. The one thing I don't like and I'll probably cut off is this plastic is set up to hang it. But we'll see once I get everybody done. And then that just slides up in there like that. And I'm just peeling off the back. I don't love it that it's not tight up in here, but that's okay. And there we go. Now that's done. And if I wanted to, I could stick a little tape underneath there to hold it so it doesn't like rock around while it's waiting to be gifted. There, oops. You're there, you're there. These little cello bags, like I said, they came with it, which is surprising to me that it's not a better fit, but it's okay. It's all good in the hood. It's all good. Take that off. And there we go. There is a fun little gift for my team. Here, I may fix this one. I'm so fussy. I can't help it, though. But I want them to look pretty, especially since this is my new team. I'm just, you know, doing the old wrap tape on itself. And then if you want, I can show you, if I haven't already, a couple of the other things I made. I mean, I'll show them to you, but I can... I think I showed you how they looked finished, but... There. Now that's not going anywhere. So those are done. I'll have a few of those. And then I made these notebooks out of, these are little Dollar Tree composition books. I put um, cardstock on the front and back, and then I use stickers, and then I just put a pen with it. And a very nice little gift. And I, like everything else, there's a couple of varieties. And I have these stickers, and I just wanted to use them up. So this was a good project, especially for, like, the guys. Part of our job is we have to carry a notebook. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to put a pen in this one. I did nine notebooks. And then I will have a bunch of those. And then the coasters I finished off. I did these with the fabric and I sprayed the glaze over it. I think I did show you these, but this is what they look like packaged. And I just used the same little cello bag. And then these two. And then I did the two Brutus. And these are all with the big stickers that I had left. So I just used up all the stickers. And I used them last year for different ornaments, the same two packs. So I got two seasons out of these sticker packs. And that's everything I've been crafting lately with the DIY Dollar Tree resin that I just got on my hand. That resin stuff is fun, but let me tell you, it gets everywhere when it touches stuff. All right, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorials that I'm coming up with, just little things that I'm making. There'll be some more, I'm sure, because I'm in a crafty mood. And my craft space, well, it used to be clean, but now it's, well, questionable, but you know, that's how we roll. So that is everything. I hope you enjoy. I will talk with you later. Bye.